Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from Razor Emporium today to do a soap review of Henry et Victoria, the brainchild of Claude Pilon from Quebec, Canada. Let's give it a shot. So I had a opportunity to meet Claude um, in Michigan for a recent meetup at the Maggards and um, got, a, got one of these soaps and I thought I would give it a shot. Um, real nice guy, uh, very down to earth. Um, Apparently this uh, soap set was something that kind of came to him as inspiration. He was given a, a gift of kind of a high-end artisan soap and it kind of inspired him to want to make one of his own. Um, and so that's kind of the history behind the soap. Uh, we're going to, you know, take it and make a lather here in a bowl so you can kind of get a visual on what this looks like. So I'm just going to kind of get some of this built up over here and move it over to our bowl. So the, the product itself is obviously handmade. Um, it is a lanolin base, so it's going to have um, you know, animal fat, which is going to be really great for um, slickness and moisturizing properties. Some of my favorite soaps are lanolin or tallow based, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. Um, yeah using our standard Omega boards brush, kind of doing some loading right now, getting the product. The scent, um, very pleasant already. It's, it's more of a faint kind of scent. If you are familiar with Mitchell's Wolf Fat, it, it's somehow reminding me of that in the sense that it's not overly powering, um, which I'm actually very happy about that. Not every soap needs to be, you know, in your face with aroma. Sometimes you want more of just a um, a, you know, lightly scented product. Let's say you're going to shave at night. Let's say you're going to use your favorite cologne afterwards. Let's say, you know, whatever. You don't always want a soap that explodes with scent, but it is very nice. It has a um, cedarwood, amber, musk. It's got some uh, citrus notes in it. So it's generally a very nice, very nice shaving soap. So here we can see some of this lather that I've been building. Um, very nice, very, very nice and dense, uh, creamy, it's got that perfect consistency I look for, which is kind of like Cool Whip or whipped cream. Um, so it's definitely hydrated and, you know, looks like it's ready to give a great shave. I can't wait to lather up with this. Today we're going to be using the Nautilus scent from Henry et Victoria. Uh, I'm going to start off with kind of a pre-shave routine. Let's imagine I just got done with a shower and I would have washed my face in the shower um, with a face soap or a body soap. So they actually do make a body wash. I know it's not exactly a face wash, but I can't imagine it's going to be terribly different. So we're actually going to start off using this. I always find that it's um, great prep to have a clean face before you shave. Um, I think that some of the dirt and oils that are on your face are not going to bode well when they get mixed up into the shaving cream. Um, you know, you're exfoliating at the same time, so you want to make sure that you're kind of starting clean. So we'll do that with this soap here. Pump a little bit out. Yeah, that's very pleasant smelling. Again, I'm sure this has its ideal location in the uh, shower. Very refreshing. Um, again, the scent has these notes of cedarwood, amber, musk. Um, it smells just kind of sophisticated. I think it's one of the better words I can use for it. It smells like um, a kind of a higher end soap, something that um, is subtle but you know very clean and refreshing all right so now that my face is nice and clean let's take this lather we built and start lathering up Put a little more water i hope to make a complete disaster out of my t-shirt here
I'm kind of noticing that the soap needs a little bit more hydration than other soaps, but I've, I have experienced that sometimes with other tallows or other um, lanolin, you know, anything with um, the animal fat. And that's not a bad thing. It's just one of these things to note. I know a lot of people have problems lathering up like Mitchell's wool fat, for instance. And I, I think it's one of these same kind of um, scenarios that you just kind of need to use a little bit more water than you're used to. But you are rewarded with an extra cushy, extra slick, extra hydrated lather. So don't be afraid to give it a little more water. And if you're starting off, like I was doing earlier, I think these bowls are awesome for kind of learning these ratios of soap to water. Um, and I, I definitely use them from time to time, but I, I'm a very big fan of face lathering. I think that it gives a little more time to uh, build a lather and also to prepare your beard, lift everything up. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. Let's get started. Okay, for hardware, we're going to be using one of my favorite um, all-time razors, the Gillette Fat Handle Tech. I think for a three-piece, this is kind of, you know, so to speak, the alpha and the omega. Uh, this is one of the most imitated um, razor guards ever made, and for a really good reason. Um, I think it's one of Gillette's best kept secrets. First impression is great. Um, my beard is very well prepared. And it's going through my stubble with great ease. I've got my standard Paul Silver blade loaded, which are one of my favorites. For a long time, I used to like the uh, feathers, Gillette Platinums, I still love those. But the Paul Silver has just the right balance for me between sharpness and comfort. And yeah, this lather is great. It's very slick. Yeah, I am very impressed with this soap so far. And again, the scent, now that it's on my face, uh, it's kind of developed and I'm smelling it a lot more. Uh, I think when it's just right off, you know, in the, in the package, you get a good sense, but there's nothing like it being lathered up. Very mild, very pleasant. So the soap is called uh, Nautilus. And it's inspired by Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, uh, the ship. And I guess there's some other notes in here like bamboo and um, some other great scents. The, the soap brand, the Henry and Victoria, uh, that's apparently uh, Claude's children's names. And I guess he was, you know, wanting to name something after his children, you know, something as great as his kids basically, or up to their standard or whatever you want to say to honor them. So there's there's a, a beauty that I'm seeing in this product in terms of the, the scent, the name, the label, the packaging. Um, and I know that the company's name, like I said, was uh, his children's names and it's it's like a commitment of bringing beauty into the world that are very similar to children. When you make a package or make a design or a product like a soap, you put your heart and soul into it and you want it to represent you know, your name or your quality or what you believe in and I can definitely see that coming through with this brand. And meeting Claude in um, Michigan was great. Very, very uh, class act, gentleman all around. Enjoy talking to him about the soap and his company. So it's great to 
finally use it now. Wow. Very pleasurable experience using the shaving soap. Looking forward to putting on the aftershave. I always do a pat dry when you're done shaving. Don't wipe. I see people do that all the time. They wipe and scrub their face. It's really best just to pat dry. Your face has undergone enough abrasion from a brush and a blade. It doesn't need a cotton tearing cloth to be doing the same thing. Okay, so we got Nautilus aftershave splash. I'm assuming it's gonna have alcohol in it since it's not a lotion, it's more transparent, which is fine. I'm not a gigantic fan of alcohol aftershaves, but I think used occasionally, they're great in terms of my skin. Some people can do it every single day, I can't. I can, I can do it a couple times a week, but not every day. Ooh, that is nice. Very, very nice. Uh, much, much stronger in scent than the, than the soap, but it's in the same exact vein. Um, refreshing. Yeah, I liked it. I like it a lot. So, uh, very pleasurable shave overall from using the Nautilus scent from Henry and Victoria. Um, I liked the packaging. I give that a pro. Uh, clean, simple, uh, the design, you know, easy to read, uh, classy. Uh, I liked the performance. I thought it built a great lather, very slick, very hydrated, didn't start flaking out. Um, and, you know, being a, a, a lanolin based soap, which is like a wool's fat, it feels very moisturizing and very, you know, soothing on my face, which is great because the uh, aftershave is an alcohol product, so they can kind of help um, overcome each other a little bit, that alcohol can sometimes dry you out. So it, it my face feels great now, feels clean, doesn't feel overly tight or dry or raw. Um, the, the wash to start off with was great to prep my beard. Um, yeah, I can't really say anything bad about it. Um, I'd give it a four and a half out of five. I always, I always leave that extra half for something that just blows my mind. Um, and this was a great, great product. But, you know, you never know when you're going to reach that. That's a five out of five. So I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five stars. I also think it's a great value at $12 for the shaving soap um, and $15 for the aftershave. That's U.S. prices. So great, great value. Um, yeah, enjoyed using it. Love to use it again. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying these reviews here at Razor Emporium. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know if you've used Henry Ed Victoria and what you thought about it below. We'll see you next time. Thanks.